only eating food bought at Harrods for 24 hours. Have you got an idea what we're making? Is it actually worth it? No! We did mess up. What's happening, free game? We are coming to you live. But not live. From our home here in London. We've got a fantastic video for you guys today. Before we get into that though, you guys let us know where you are coming live or not live from, where you are in the world. We hope everything is fantastic, but let us know in the comments below. Today we have a very, very special food challenge. Yes, that loads of you requested. Recently, many of you may have seen our video where we went to the world famous department store, Harrods, to see if we could get our weekly food shop for only 30 pounds. And the outcome of that challenge was very interesting. After that video, so many of you asked us if we could take the challenge of only eating food bought at Harrods for 24 hours. And so today, that's exactly what we are going to do. So in preparation, for this challenge, we nipped to Harrods to get everything we needed for today. So guys, we are here in the world famous Harrods in Knightsbridge. This is Jojo's first time and we're here to do some food shopping. However, we've started in the wrong place again by starting in the chocolate room. Do you want to look at some chocolate, Jojo? No, 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 we need meals. Come on, let's go get meals. Jojo, yeah. they don't have baskets and they don't have trolleys. They have trolley baskets. What? Wow. So yeah, it starts off as a trolley, add the basket, and now it's a trolley basket, or a trasket. They've completely changed things, guys. The fresh produce is now here in the middle. In the middle. And it was over the back there before, wasn't it? Let's get stuck into this. We've got to surely need this for some of our meals. Yeah. I've got a nice bag of spinach. We're going to need some greens, aren't we? Let's yeah. do it. So what fresh produce are you thinking about? Okay, we'll get a nice onion, yeah? One red onion? Yeah. Nice cucumbers. Okay. So we're, we're thinking we're going to be having salad with meals, aren't we? Yeah. Or we're getting the vine tomatoes. They're yeah. going to be nicer. Lovely. Have you got an idea what we're making? I, I've got a few ideas. It's a bit different this time, so you choose the produce you want and then you hand it to the gentleman behind the counter and he puts it in a bag and puts a sticker on for you. Oh, look at those mushrooms. How many are we going to get? Well, they're 80p per mushroom. That's a lot. Okay, so we've got lots of fruit and veg. They just put it all in the same bag. And we've got a receipt to scan at the checkout. So I'm going to keep that safe in there. Jojo, it's time for you to see about the easy peelers. Remember we said they cost a pound each nearly? Do you want to get a few then? Yeah, maybe like three or something. Yeah. Little snack for you, eh? What's been decided then? He wants an apple as well. Yeah. Oh, look at all the exotic fruits. Jojo, you haven't seen this sort of fruit since we went to a fruit festival years ago. I want to get some fish They're, they're called golden berries, aren't they? They're golden berries, but they're really high in vitamin C, so I really like them. Some of those? Especially this time of year. They're quite bright. We're we'll going for those baby bananas again. Yeah, we'll get some. We, did, we didn't get some last time. Didn't we? I thought no. we did. I don't think so. Are they Look, quite ripe, can... good to eat tomorrow? Yeah, they're good. Tell us about your dilemma on the mangoes. I can't just have one mango. If I have like one, then I want more. You have normally about eight together, they're don't you? Ten pounds each, and then that would be 80 pounds if I had eight. Just for a snack for you. You got the golden berries there? This is getting pretty full up. You're going to have to do some organisation, Jojo. Yep. Good. Made a nice base here. It's a good thing we brought you along this time. Okay, so we're looking at the berries now. They've got obviously raspberries, blueberries, strawberries. But I've just noticed something they do, which I don't know if they did this before. They've got these combination pots. Look. Which might be better value for money, but it, it just might be better all around. And what's this? Melon fruit bowl. Oh. I think they're meant, like the fruit pots are meant for people who are just coming in and taking out a snack, I guess. Yeah. How much do you get in their weight? I don't know, but it's £10. Considering the raspberries are £8 and the blueberries are £6, that might be a better deal. Should we go for that? Yeah. Oh! oh. 
Let's go for some watermelon as well. Yes. They've got some yogurts here as well. It's funny, they put them next to the berries. I know what they're doing. We know this one. I swear we saw this last time. And this is another vegan one as well. Yeah, should we get some yogurt to go with the berries? Yeah, that'd be a lot, I guess, breakfasty or snack or dessert even. Well, it can go on the breakfast. Right, Jojo, we need to get some bread. Bread okay. here is amazing. This is very good. I love how she says need, though. Okay, I agree with you. We need to get some of this. Um, okay, is it simple as that? We're just getting them, yeah? It is a simple I'll just have, just get two. Okay. Because I want to get an actual loaf of bread as well. Bread is one of those things that will always get me. It just always looks good, doesn't it? Always looks good. I could eat bread all day and be fine with it. Comment below, should we do that challenge of only eating bread for 24 hours? It's a terrible suggestion. Right. Free gang, she's going for the big one. The big boy. The big one. I have never paid 10 pounds for a loaf of bread in my life. This better be worth it. There's two kilograms of bread there. Yeah, that's a good amount of bread. And it's sourdough, so yeah. yeah. Although, where are we going to put it, Cos? <laughs> <laughs> you need to get another trolley, Jojo. Let me not. I don't need to get another trolley. We can put another basket under there, I think. Oh! Oh! So, let me run and get really quickly get another basket. I'm pretty sure you might be able to slide a basket. I think you could be right. It's a good thing we brought him. We didn't know that, did we? So we're getting basically the bread that's on display up here and I've just realised if you look closer it's got an H for Harrods on it which is pretty cool. I asked the lady to slice the bread and it's so big she had to do it in two separate goes. I'm going this way because if we go that way we're going to go past the beans and oh, I, not, I can't handle that again. No. Not with Jojo, no. No, not with Jojo. Katie, look. The olive oil. <gasps> I oh said, I mentioned this olive oil last time we were here. It's this one here, organic olive oil, 28 pounds. I did say though, I would get this olive oil if I was just here shopping normally. However, there's this one as well, it's extra virgin organic as well. This one? Yeah. Ooh. And Where's it's, it from? it's half it from? the price. Hey guys, should we go look at a certain tin food now? They don't have that tin food here. They not? No. What? He's asking about a certain tin food, but they don't have it here. You guys are fibbing, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm being honest. They do the coffee variety of the product he's after, but we're not telling him that. You made a decision? Yeah, I'm going to go for this one. Oh, Katie, the pasta. You get your favourite. Well, it's kind of close to my favourite, tortigli only. Jojo, you're having a bit of a problem, aren't you? If there's no beans here, how come you were able to scream it out last time we, we guys, the you two were here? Listen, I promise I'll tell you once we've left, okay? No, once we, not once we've left. I want to know now. Who really wants to shout beans? Okay, I'm going to tell you it now, but I'm not going to tell you where they are. So you can't do it unless you have your hands on them. They were coffee beans, and that's what I did. Okay? So you know that. Get back, you're not going anywhere. We're looking at potentially some sort of pasta sauce as well. This one looks nice though. Katie, would you say that's a good jar that you would like to reuse as well? Yeah, I reuse all jars that I get. Oh, especially the nice ones. It's extremely annoying for free game. We have too many jars at home. They're nice for gifts though. How many gifts do I give people? How We've got about chocolate? 50 excess jars. You need a gift big time. I make chocolates for people. I do all kinds of things and put them in jars and give them to people. He's looking for coffee beans now, thank you. Get yeah. back here. What are you guys doing? There's some truffle potato chips, look. Can we get some? Getting a bit snacktacular, are you? Chili and lime. Chili and lime. Tortilla chips. Jojo. Give this to me immediately. What are you doing? Is he taking over? This is why we didn't bring him last time. You got something you want to show me? Oh, no, no. Come away. Look the coffin. I'm not happy. Look. Not only has he done that, but Katie left me in the lurch. She knew. Look where she is. She is hiding behind the post, trying to disassociate from us. You birthed this, you birthed him. I knew when he took you over there, I knew what he was going to do. That's why you didn't come. Let's just get the rest of our food and go. Okay, we're at the cheese section. The, the furthest section away from the coffee beans. I, I swear nice these weren't here before. No. I remember these two. What, I don't really know what the difference is. Do you want to try one of these new ones? Should we try that? Yeah, we'll get this one. That's spreadable, right? 
What do we reckon about maybe going into the chocolate hall desserts? Do you want to look at desserts? Yeah, let's go to the chocolate hall. I don't know about you, Katie, but this chocolate area and this chocolate room is one of my favourite places on earth. Look at his face. <laughs> okay, what, do you want to choose something, Jojo? Well, maybe we could do like a pick and mix or something like that, and that could be like a dessert, maybe. Okay. Okay, we've grabbed the bag. We're doing this. To be honest, a lot of these, we're just going to have to guess how they taste. Oh, we've got one of those. Oh, can I have this one? Hazelnut. Oh, no, this is the one we got before. Let's get that as well. Yeah. I'm going to get this one. Oh, is that a chocolate orange? Chocolate orange. We're going for that lot? Yeah. So we are back home, guys, with this lovely food haul from Harrods. Yes, more than enough food to last us. 24 hours. I'll tell you what we spent in a minute, but we got some really nice things. We got some really nice fruit. We got loads of mushrooms, huge loaf of bread, greens, olive oil. Yeah, we got a, a nice lot of stuff. The total cost is actually £89.36. If you're thinking that that is a lot, then you are right. It was a lot more than we spent last time. We got a bit carried away, but we did mess up. Well, I messed up because I got these tropical, they're like miniature apple bananas. And I think we had these types of bananas before in Hawaii. They're very sweet, very delicious. I saw a different price on them. I picked the bag up and took it to the checkout. But when we got there, the guy said, the lady needs to put a sticker on it. So Bob ran back and got the lady to put a sticker on it. And it turns out that these are 30 pounds per kilogram, which works out 12 pounds 24 for this tiny bunch of bananas. They even look overripe. These better be nice, we'll see. The other thing which is a, a standout price was the olive oil, which was I think it was about 14 pounds or something, but this will last us beyond today. The bread was 10 pounds for one loaf of bread. The berries, another standout thing that was expensive, 10 pounds for this tub of berries. So with that price in mind, guys, a big part of this challenge is to see if the extra cost of Harrods food, is it actually worth it? Does this stuff taste that much better? So that's what we're gonna be trying to find out today with three meals and giving you our honest review. So up first is breakfast. We've got, yes. we've got a few different options as well, I feel. We could do toast, maybe. We could do toast. I think berries. I think we'll go for the fruit, yeah? We've also got the yogurts as well. Yes. So we actually got quite a bit of fruit. We actually also got watermelon, the bananas, and thistleis, which are golden berries. I think Jojo wants the apple and easy peelers though, so he can have those later. He's actually with his friend today, but he should be with us later on for dinner. Yeah, I don't know if these bananas are supposed to be like this, but that looks very ripe and battered to me. How many bananas did we get? Six. So we that's, six. each one is two pounds. <laughs> no! I can hear you guys in the comments. I can hear you going, I would never pay that much for some bananas. You know what? They might be amazing bananas. Let's be fair though, if we'd realized that before. I don't think I would have paid that much for them. There's a two pound banana right there. <laughs> Here is our Harrods breakfast, guys. This cost about 30 pounds for both of these. We just counted. <laughs> and I'm telling you, for a person that does a lot of budget challenges, whew. Wait a minute, we Ooh. do a weekly shop for 30 pounds and breakfast from Harrods. Oh. But is it worth it? You know, are all these millionaires right to go and shop there? Let's see, let's have, we have I wanted some? to go for the watermelon, yeah. All right. Mm. It's sweet. I'm gonna say, I rate that. If you think about the average watermelon you get from a supermarket, that's very, very good. You're getting your money's worth there, ain't you? Because <laughs> she's going to eat the rind as well. <laughs> I think you have it. I wonder why you were watching me. I was like, <laughs> what are you done? I, I got my money's worth. <laughs> I could probably eat that bit. She's done it. No, oh no, the 12 pound bananas. I've got to try this. This better be the best tasting banana ever. It's a banana, I mean, it's a banana. It's a two pound banana, mate. Each chunk probably costs about 30p. That costs 30p for a gang. Yeah, that banana, nothing special for me. It's, oh, strawberry, should we try strawberry now? Oh, there's a strawberry. I didn't realize there were the strawberries in there. Strawberries are at the bottom. Strawberries should be good. They're good. Mm. Okay, they're good. Wow. They're very good. I'm gonna try with the yogurt. That is really sweet. Mm. It's not often I taste a strawberry like that and it just hits you. Blueberries, good. Raspberries. Mm. Wow, the blueberries are really good. Really sweet. Blueberries noticeably nice. So are the strawberries. Raspberries, pretty standard. I'm gonna go in for the last thing on this plate. 
which is the golden berry. These are so high in vitamin C, guys. Really good for you. Mmm. Mm. I love these. Just a tip, you can get a pack of these in Sainsbury's for a pound. And in Harrods for a little more. To be honest, the, the funniest thing about this is, I do rate a lot of it, and you can see there is a noticeable difference, I think. Yeah. But the least tasty one is the most expensive banana. <laughs> do you know what I mean? That was the lowest quality product, I'd say. I mean... Least value for money. It's a banana! Exactly. I said that before, I'm saying it again, it's just... They must have been grown on some very special island. I, earlier I said tropical bananas, and I, then I realised all bananas are tropical. I said tropical bananas. Okay, so that's breakfast. Surely it's got to go uphill from here for lunch. So on to our Harrods lunch. We see that the bread has come out. The 10 pound, two kilogram loaf. Well, that's only half of it, isn't it? Yes, it is. So we saw some fantastic sandwiches. We got so tempted with the sandwiches. And then I said, well, why don't we just get their bread and we'll get loads of fillings and make our own Harrods sandwich at home. Yeah, because I think each sandwich was about 10 pounds. And then it'd be the dilemma of then you have to eat it a day later. Also, two would be 20 pounds. And then Jojo wanted one 30 pounds yeah i'm so good at maths i know that would be the same amount as breakfast we've got our bread and we've got our things to put in the sandwich we've got this cream cheese which we found um spinach tomatoes cucumber and red onion yeah we're gonna toast the bread make toasted sandwiches because I think that will taste even better. Got to admit, I'm really, really looking forward to this. And I have high expectations. As last time, when we got our £30 weekly shop from there, we got some bread, olive bread, different to this one. And we rated it as the best ever bread. It was the best bread we'd ever tasted. Yeah, so technically, this could be the best sandwich we've ever had. <laughs> it doesn't fit in the toaster. <laughs> That's going to be a big sandwich. It's, it's, it's going to flop out. I know, it is flopping out. I know, I'll just have to cut them. Ding. That's better. That's better. Ding. What are those sounds you're making as a bread Nothing, nothing. Okay, so we've got everything ready here. The toast is done. Mm -hmm. Smell this cheese. It smells a bit like yogurt. Are we sure it isn't yogurt? I don't know. It was right next to cheeses though. Hang on. You're right, it was right next to the cheeses. So yeah, it was in the cheese section. The only thing we are using that isn't from Harrods is maybe some condiments or spices, salt, pepper, that sort of thing. I had to say that because I wanted some black pepper in mine. Do you want some in yours, Bob? Yes, please. There's yours. Thank you. Pretty nice free gang. This better be the best sandwich I have ever tasted. I mean, you're a bit of a sandwich con connoisseur. It's his favorite food, a sandwich ever. What's about the cost of this meal? We didn't use all of the ingredients that we got for this, so it's hard to figure out, but it's an expensive sandwich, let's just say that. Well, I reckon it's cheaper than their 10 pound sandwich. Oh yeah, it probably works out cheaper than that. The bread's lovely. I mean, the bread the bread is lovely, isn't it? You just can't go wrong with that bread. Yeah, all of the ingredients, really nice. Really nice tomatoes. The cheese is really good. Considering we weren't even sure if it was cheese or yogurt, it turns out it is cheese and it's good cheese. This is a good sandwich, Harrods. Be interested to see if we found their ones in there any better. Harrods sandwiches for lunch, eh? Do you want another one after this? I think I will, yes. So on to dinner time now, guys. I'm very, very excited for this, as I am aware that we have left the pasta. And as you know from watching this channel, guys, we are pasta experts as we seem to get it in every single shopping challenge. And we are going full on fine dining this evening. I like the sounds of that. Well, Jojo is going to be with us. You know, he's partial to a bit of fine dining. You guys know that. He so likes it. We're going to have to really make things special. We've got all of our lovely ingredients here for everything including these which were actually supposed to be for lunch but we forgot to do them so can you have pasta with tortilla chips i don't know i mean everyone knows tortilla chips going to fine dining right we'll make it work because i'm good at making stuff work okay so what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna make mince out of these mushrooms in our aldi video I was saying how versatile mushrooms are. You can make burgers, you can make mints, all kinds of things. Right, I'm gonna make mints out of the mushrooms for the kind of bolognese sauce that we're gonna have with our lovely pasta sauce. In order to make mints out of the mushrooms, I have to dice them up. They're overflowing a bit there, Katie. Squash them in, squash them in. Hang on, we're posh. We're having uh, Harrods food today, so press them down. 
genuinely struggling to get them in. We're trying the very expensive olive oil. The most expensive product in today's challenge. The bananas were almost as expensive. You've not got over that, have you? <laughs> no. Bob diced up the rest of the onions and put them in the pan. Now we're going to add the mushrooms. Right, while I finish off the dinner, you go with Jojo and set the table for fine dining, yes? Sounds like a plan. So dinner is served and Katie, I must say, you've done a good job with this. What do you think, Jojo? It's looking good, right? It looks really nice, yeah. What do you think in terms of fine dining? I think it's very fine dining-ish. Oh, okay. Okay, so have a look here. So I, we've got the, the mixture with the mints and the sauce and I mixed it together with the pasta and there's a bit of cheese on top that was left over from earlier. Some spinach, cucumber, tomato. Obviously I haven't put loads because we've done it in a fine dining style. And I put two of the nachos there. Oh, I put a bit of balsamic glaze on top as well because condiments are okay. You always need a good bit of balsamic glaze with a fine dining meal, don't you? You do, it's true. And we've got the bread and the olive bread sticks. Bob chopped them all up. And Do you like the display? I love the display. It looks very, the whole thing looks really nice. We've got the olive oil to dip the bread in. Yeah, everything looks amazing. And we've got our chocolates for dessert over there. I had to do it justice because it's Harrods food at the end of the day. I couldn't just like dump it all on the plate. So it looks very nice. So It really does. We've actually estimated this meal cost about 25 pounds. It's actually cheaper than the breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Jojo? It's very good. How would you compare the pasta to other pasta you've had? Would you say it's a step up? Is it different? As usual, I'd say. About the same. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Mummy? Have you had some pasta? Mm. Is that very average or is it more? Is it worth five times the price? Most pasta to me tastes the same. It does taste like any other pasta, but I like the shape of it. Yeah, the pasta's okay, but I really do like the sauce and the mushrooms are delicious. Oh, some bread and oil combo going on. Oh, I want to try it because I want to know what the olive oil tastes like on its own. How olivey is that to have olive bread with olive oil? Very olivey. It's good. Mm. What's that olive oil like? Mm-hmm. It's only right that I go in and test this pasta. The whole mushroom mince looks really nice. I'm glad you've mixed it all in. I think that's really nice. That's really nice pasta. I'll try it with the cheese on top. It tastes really nice. I wish I had more of that cheese. Have we used it all now? Yeah. Mmm. Okay. I'm rating this. So how was everyone's dinner? It was very good. I rated that as well. It was very nice. I feel it was a really nice treat, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Really nice treat. I feel, feel like that's what Harrods all about. I know they say millionaire shop there, but also I think it's just a treat every now and then for regular people as well, yeah. isn't it? However, the treat isn't over as we have chocolates. Uh, this one's mine. Okay. This one's mine. Okay, I guess the other one's mine then. Can't even remember. Got the cup of tea as well. That doesn't count in 24 hours eating Harrods food. No, because that's a drink, that's why. Ooh, oh, look at this, look at that. That's pretty snazzy. Is mm. that good? I have to have a slog of tea with it. What's that word? A slog of tea? Let's see what a slog of tea looks like. Oh, right, like that. Only people that shop at Harrods have slogs of tea. Enough about slogs of tea, sips of tea, whatever. We hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. We've really enjoyed sharing with you, taking the sort of food that we buy in the shopping challenge and showing you what we make with it because we know you guys have requested it so much. So let us know in the comments below what you thought of this video. And if you'd like to see us do something similar with food from any other supermarket, we'd love to hear your suggestions. But that is where we are gonna say goodbye, guys, and we will see you all in the next video. Just remember, no matter where you are in the world, you guys always stay free. Just keep, just keep rising. rising.